All righty. Hi, my name is Liz Garcia, and I am delighted to be here today to introduce you to Cheryl Murphy. And Cheryl is a uh, spiritual medium and psychic and clairvoyant. Am I missing anything? I'll let you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Spirit will let you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say, uh, probably it's been maybe 10 or 12 years, well, 10 years ago since I um, awakened to similar gifts that Cheryl has. Cheryl is far more gifted than I am, but. Prior to that, I would have thought she was, you know, wacko. But <laughs> I'm here to tell you today that her <laughs> gifts are genuine. The gift of communication is uh, innate to all of us. It's just a matter of awakening to it and having little puppies join us in the interview, but why not? So uh, we're going to just speak to Cheryl for a little bit because we uh, want to introduce you to the services that she offers and what her gifts can do to help you either move forward in life, answer questions. Um, so I'm going to ask Cheryl, Cheryl, what would be the most common things that people come to see you about? Uh, most commonly people come to see me with, they want to contact their loved ones who have passed over. Also some common questions are about relationships. Yeah. Uh, a couple of the other common questions are about relocating, uh, you know, moving from one state to another, uh, a job transition. Uh, sometimes we'll finish the reading doing a health scan, and oh. that's where I do an energy scan of the body. Nice. And let them know about their health, you know, if it's too much of a diet, you know, if it's a diet situation, which can always help if we, you know, eat right. But sometimes we talk about um, healing from a surgery, or anticipation of a surgery and how they can meditate uh, before they go in. I didn't know you did that. A I, health scan? Yeah. It's well, I have to do a health neat. scan later. <laughs> Cheryl, I'm going to hit you up for a health scan. <laughs> okay. So uh, I work with Cheryl on her website and her marketing uh, of her services. And what we do is we do research online to find out what is most interesting to people. Mm -hmm. And I think the top, one of the top searches was is, you know, contacting the dead, communicating with the dead. Uh, connecting with a past, you know, a loved one. And my mother passed two years ago, and that's one thing that Cheryl helped me with. And um, another topic that it helps with is, is um, helping with grief and loss. And I think, Cheryl, um, I for myself, for sure, and I know some of my friends that have spoken to you, felt a huge relief mm -hmm. to you. know that that grief and loss that you're feeling can be remedied or helped by speaking to someone like Cheryl, and maybe you can tell us a little bit more about that and your experience. You know, uh, I'll just speak from what happened yesterday. Is um, uh, last night I was with a woman about our age, and um, we I brought through or spirit brought through her grandmother uh, to speak with uh, her to help calm her down, to give her some answers, and it was regarding the six-year-old daughter that she had. And so just by contacting her grandmother, knowing that she was, you know, here, knowing that the daughter was here, we still love the grandmother, and she's very much a guardian now for the daughter and the family, and I feel that that brought her some relief. Uh, by the time we finished our reading, we had some good uh, validation. Um, yesterday morning, I uh, also did another reading with a uh, young woman, and uh, the, she didn't ask me a question about her father, but her father who passed did come through to help with information. So that was really good validation for her to let her know that she was on the right track. So and it's so funny, happen. <laughs> every yeah. time Cheryl comes to see me, I, yeah. I have yet to have a time. She hasn't come and said, Yo, your mother is talking to me, I'm trying to remember yeah. what she wants me to say. So. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you know, if you want to bring in your mother now, I mean, her mother is very lovely. She's very delicate, really soft voice, I feel like your mother. Yes. I mean, really soft, you know, almost a petite feeling, okay, about your mother. Because as I'm approaching the house to see Liz today, I'm feeling this energy coming to me to tell me that your, tells me that your grandmother knows that, you know, you're having some difficulty sleeping at night. And she wants me to tell you to go, you know, natural, meaning, I try to try to do natural remedies to help you sleep at night. I don't feel like you've tried that point yet. I feel like you think, oh my God, I'm just going to live my life like this. But she definitely wants me to tell you that there are some natural remedies. You know, in such and as this is my grandmother, your grandmother, because your grandmother is um, 
very homeopathic in that way. I mean, she loves Western medicine, we're not questioning that, but she does want you to be more natural and be more in tune with your body, okay. is one thing that she asked me to tell you. So. Which grandmother? Uh, the one that, uh, the grandmother, uh, well, I picked her up earlier, she has a three-syllable name. Uh, da -da -da. Marguerite. Uh, Marguerite. See, I was picking up like Martha, you know, but it was a three-syllable word. I was picking up like, um, I don't know, it was three-syllable, but it started with an M, so. Oh, awesome. Anyway. <laughs> So, I did not tell her that. No, so it's Marguerite. Marguerite, yeah. She used to be Thank a nurse, you. too. Wow, really. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, well, you know, she's very intelligent. Once again, she's very delicate. So she'll probably be with us for the reading today, awesome. helping to support oh, cool. us. Oh, because I was yeah. going to ask you about her. And she's yeah. long past. Oh, way long past. Long past, but not long gone. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we want to just cover a couple of other quick topics today as to uh, different issues and conditions that Cheryl helps with. And then you can watch other videos where we go in depth with each one of more of those. So is there, let's see. So we covered um, love and relationships. Do we mm -hmm. cover that? Yeah. We do need to cover love and relationships. Oh, <laughs> a lot good. of people ask about that. And, I, I, and, and you know what is so great is people tell me, you can tell that people are really intuitive when they're writing and asking me their questions because you feel you follow that train of thought that they're writing and you know that they're so you know pretty much right on track they're just looking for some confirmation or they're looking for validation you know and they, they want someone else to as a sounding board you know and I feel that uh, their intuition is they don't really know how intuitive they are and I I do try to let them know that in the emails I'm so glad you brought yeah. that up because you know we could get we could get petty about relationships and we want to blame another person and we want, you know, whatever it is. But, you know, Cheryl is definitely here for a sounding board. I love that she said that because we truly do know, and I'm glad she's saying she knows that you know, but mm -hmm. to have someone to just help bring you along a mm -hmm. little bit and say, yeah, you're on track. And, you know, if you're in the practice of following your intuition, it's nice to see that, okay, I, I did feel this. It was nice to get a little boost, and maybe in the future I, I can just go with it and not have to rely on, you know, ultimately you don't want to rely on anyone to tell you what to do because this is your life to make decisions. But I love that Cheryl uh, mm -hmm. added that in and, regards to that. Yeah, you know, one of my goals all along has been to support people and to empower them. And, you know, it's to be like a psychic coach. You know, I'm always going to try to point out to you where you're, you know, where I feel that you're hitting a bullseye, where I think you're standing in your power. So I do try to support people and, and give them that, give them that, you know, pat on the back or that, uh, you know, just boost that they're looking for to let them know, you know, hey, you are intuitive and we're all psychic. You know, it's just some of us practice it more than others or some of us open up to it more than others. But it's, it, you know, it's like your bicep being psychic. I always try to tell people it's like your physical muscle, okay, take a bicep, and we all have biceps, whether we go to the gym and work out or not, they're always going to be with us, right? But so I have a psychic muscle, and I work at it, I exercise, I, I do a lot of it, I meditate, which is highly recommended, you know, I'm out in nature, we do things to become more aware of that uh, particular muscle, so we all have it. That's cool, so along the same topic, it, it triggered a question for me, mm -hmm. and if, you know, many people that would watch this video or would have awareness of the law of attraction, right? And I would think, as a, you know, with what you do, you're kind of reading the energetic roadmap of somebody, perhaps. Mm -hmm. And whether you're meant to be with someone or not, whether you're meant to do something else or not, there's got to be a predominant vibration that's leading you to a, on a certain path, mm -hmm. which certainly you could turn off, but... Would you say that that's kind of accurate, that you're, you can see a, a road map that looks really strong and positive and healthy? Kind of? I do. I do. And I, I usually ask for guides to come in during the reading. I ask for guides, angels, our ascended masters to come in to give us the highest information for our, for the for the highest good for all, for you know, this is the best, most positive information. And what I pick up when people ask me tough questions, you know, because things are tough sometimes in this world. And uh, what I do is I pick up on their guides and I ask for direction at that time. And even though we feel that our life is falling apart, you know, sometimes it's because better things are falling together. And uh, so if I can bring through some information that will validate uh, what they're going through for them, for them, it does help ease that stress, you know, and it makes things a little bit better. And that's the goal is just to ask for that healing to take us one step closer.
Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> we all think going through bad things in life or, you know, going through bad things in life. Yeah. When, uh, what would you say, 80, 90 percent of the time, they're, they provide a significant shift to something mm -hmm. new. Mm -hmm. A new way of being, a new way of perceiving, a new way of everything. And it's just a learning, you know, I've been through a lot of very difficult things, but I'm like, you know what, without that I wouldn't be here. Right. It always takes us to the right place that we need to be in our life because what it does is it helps open us up. It drops those old belief patterns from our yeah. energy field. It lets us become more of who we are, of who we've always been, and it just helps us remember that. So uh, these shifts in the road uh, and these forks in the road that we talk about on the website um, do our, our life decision. They're, they're life-changing. Uh, uh, situations that I help people with but believe me they are their, we are our own healers and, and my clients are their own healers I'm a facilitator so I do try to help people uh, learn how to do it on their own that's the goal is yeah. to teach people to do it on their own and become empowered and carry that tool with them in their tool belt yeah, yeah. that's a pretty common um, knowing as you evolve into higher levels of consciousness and understanding is mm -hmm. that First of all, everything that you're going through right now is absolutely perfect, and that we are, you know, the creators and the healers of our own creation, for sure. So, well, I think that's a great introductory interview with Ms. Cheryl Murphy, and we're going to move on to more detailed uh, topics in some of our following videos. Thanks for joining us today.